Greetings to all and welcome to this last part of our uh, presentations and videos on in Oracle Apex. And this last part will focus on how to create pages in Oracle Apex. So we are going to use our app CMSAP, the app that we created last time. How do we go to that app? We click on App Builder. Once we are inside App Builder, we choose the app in question, CMSAP, and we are now inside the app. We are going to create a page. Which page do we want to create? We want to create a page which will be a form for the admin to create a new course. That is the form that we want to create. But we first have to check that we are in the correct database. How do we check that we are in the correct database? We need to go to our shared components once we are in the shared components, we look at uh, the security attributes. And inside the security attributes, we can choose the database session. Now, from here, you will see that there are two schemas. And the one that we are interested in is the one of the student marks database. And we can now apply the changes to say our app will be built on this schema. Very, very good. Now, let's go back and create that form. How do we create the form? We go back to our app, CMSAP. And to create a form, we will need to create a page in which we are going to put that form. So we can now go into create page. Once we are in create page, we are going to choose form and will be asked to give a name of the form. We may choose the name create a course. Okay, I think so far we only have one page. Why not try to give page two? You can see the database schema is here, is the correct one. We want to build our form to create a course. So we need to select the table course. This is the one that we are selecting. We are now able to go to the next phase. Yes, where we are being asked for the name of the primary key of that course. Primary key is CID, the course ID. We can go to the create page. And the page has been created. Now, we are going to make sure that the page is linked to the right part of on the menus. But before going that, you could have noticed here that the key is not visible, such that when the user is entering the details of the courses to be created, the user will not be able to see the course ID, so the user will not be able to change the course ID. Let's now go back to the menus and make sure that this page is in the right menu. How do we go to the menu? We go to the app. Once we are in the app, we go to the shared components. Inside the shared components, we see navigation and lists. 
inside the list these are our navigation menus and if we scroll this menu let's scroll it we must be able to see yes this is the menu that we have just created the problem now is that this menu is similar to the one that was here because this was also create course the menu it was empty so what we are going to do we are going to delete this one and we'll replace it with the new one so i can now edit this menu this is the one that we are going to delete the create courses that is empty we will delete it we say okay and instead we are going to change modify this other menu let's go and modify it to put it in the right place in the menu let's highlight it to edit it now once we are here can see the entry what are the pair what is the parent of this menu we want to create a course you see there's now room to come and put create at this level we want to create a course the parent entry is inside course from there i may be able to change the label and just call it course create and uh, i think we are ready to set not yet not yet we need to give the name of the target page if that is not yet there what is the target the target is here and yes the target page is number two that is the target page that was created initially so we can now go back and simply click on apply changes the changes have been applied now if we run our app let's go back and try to run our app this is our app here you can run it using the run application if we run our app we are now in our app who is the user if you remember this is the admin user and consequently it's only the admin menu that is visible if i now click on admin and go into courses you can see create is somewhere here so i can now create my courses and i'm now being asked what do i want to create i want to create course with which code 